uh, uh, octaves and, and very huge sounding octaves. But here, uh, very rare cases that here we have a very light octave. So it, it, it's really a different set of techniques that we have to use. And probably, in my opinion, harder because you have to learn how to put down your weight 100% first and then you learn how to put down your weight while keeping this relaxation of your body and arms and, and wrists and you only put down like 10% of the weight. So it's really something harder. Um, first of all, we need to make sure the wrist is very, very flexible. Right, The second you forgot that this part is moving, it's kind of like when you're swimming and you forgot to breathe, right? And you tense up, that you, you burn more calorie, which is a good side, but it, it stops you from swimming long and fast. And also, um, we need to make sure that our arm is constantly moving. So we have this speed of the movement going on it helps us to play the octaves lighter. If we ever got stuck, then the, the sound becomes too harsh. Okay? Um, and here, the left hand and right hand, they have totally different articulations. Right hand, the first note is marked and eighth note, which means you have to hold it, and it's slurred, so. but then left hand, it's all staccato, so I see many, many cases of people playing, that's incorrect, we have to keep the left hand, Yeah, the, the, the piece 
spirit, light and delightful feeling. Okay, I hope this helps. Um, the biggest thing is to how to play the octaves fast and light. And also, this is not just a technical uh, exercise. It's also a great character piece that requires us to react to different moods, different atmosphere very quickly. Because if you, it takes you five seconds to get into the new mood, then this, this section already be passed. Okay? Um, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about the real octave 80.